In July, I was feeling off. And so I went and saw a cardiologist. She didn't like my results, so she ordered a stress echo, which is not fun at all. And she ordered a heart catheter. And that is even less fun. That is when we found out that I had coronary artery disease and I needed to have surgery. What was unusual when I met Kelly is that she was a young, healthy looking female. The situation for her was quite serious. We could see that the aortic valve was getting quite narrow and calcified, but also more importantly, we could see that there was also blockages in many of the coronary arteries. My biggest fear was having my surgery and not being able to get married. Yeah, so she had told us about the wedding and she had told us that she wanted to get married within a month. And I think I kind of chuckled to myself and I thought, well, good luck with that, Kelly. That's gonna be a little bit hard to do. I had to get a new aortic valve. It was either a pig valve or a cow valve. I got a cow valve. My mother finds this very amusing. I'm very determined when I put my mind to something and I've had this date for three years, it's happening. So I made sure that I got well. When I saw her, I think four weeks after her operation, she had not only recovered, but had organized her wedding, had gotten married. And I was just blown away that somebody's will could put her through all that and be able to do that. I was amazed, impressed, um, really thought she was a remarkable person for having done all that. So now things are good. I am in cardiac rehab. I feel so much better than I did before. I can feel such a difference um, from before and after my surgery. I'm definitely trying to do more and extend my life as long as possible to do as much as I can because I've gotten a new lease on life and I don't wanna take that for granted. The American Heart Association has had an unbelievable role in how we treat heart disease, how we research heart disease. It allows people to have educational opportunities. It allows people to know a bit more what's going on. It has funded amazing research and it has raised awareness to a level that very few, if any other organization has done. The word needs to get out as much as it can that women need to take their heart health seriously. We're always putting ourselves last and putting everybody else ahead of us. Everybody else's wants, needs, health. We need to be more conscious of ourselves and our self-care and our health. So Kelly, I want to say congratulations. I want to tell you on the behalf of our team that we're really proud of you. We're proud of what you did, how well you recovered, how quickly you got married. And don't take this personally, but I hope I don't see you again for a long time. <laughs>